Hi there, I'm Eric and I'm going to be showing you the Classic Platform. We have uh, two deployments of the Classic Platform. We have a Python SDK and an integrated development environment. And I'll show you that first. Uh, so to get to our web-based IDE, you navigate to platform.classic.io. Once you're signed in, you'll see this uh, interface where on the left side is our model section where you put in all the bits of your circuit that you want synthesized for you. And on the right side are all the constraints that you want that circuit to live within. You can do things like set a number, uh, maximum number of qubits, maximum depth, uh, or optimize for one of those parameters or a certain number of basis gates. And we also have the option to optimize for specific hardware sets. Uh, in this example, I'm going to just load in our hello world example, which is a set of three state preparations. I'm going to click that synthesize button, uh, which sends this circuit up to our servers and returns that optimized circuit for us. Uh, all right, so here's our three state preparations. Looks like this is a nine qubit circuit with a depth of 75. You can go ahead and expand these uh, state preparations out and see how the system decided to implement this circuit for you. Uh, once you're happy with your circuit, you can go into the execution tab uh, and pick a, a hardware vendor of your choice and uh, which system you wanna run on. In this case, I'm picking IBM Quantums and I wanna run on a simulator for brevity. I don't wanna wait in the queue too long. Looks like the chasm simulator is online and the qubit counts well within our limit. Um, a thousand shop default seems fine enough. Let's click run and I'm gonna copy in my access token from IBM's website. Ah, perfect. And uh, we're queued up and already ready and running. Uh, so in a second or two, we'll get those results back and we'll see those uh, uh, histogram charts. All right. so. Let's truncate that data, which removes some of the low-hanging uh, histogram bars. Um, and once you're done analyzing it, you can go ahead and export uh, your results as a JSON. Uh, so we did everything from modeling our circuit to executing it end-to-end uh, -end without having to leave the platform and without having to get into assembly language, right? Uh, and if you want to change your hardware vendor, uh, it's as simple as just clicking uh, a different tab here. Um, so you didn't have to learn a different language. You didn't have to learn how to go from uh, Q-sharp, that's uh, Microsoft Azure's, to Chasm Code, which is IBM's uh, hardware assembly language. Uh, the software, the classic platform, handles all that for you without you having to worry about all these languages and how those might be different for your different hardware vendors. Uh, so let's go into our Python SDK, where I'm going to show you a couple of quick examples. In this case, I'll show you a Grover's algorithm uh, that's solving out for a secret Santa. So that's always a fun and nerdy one. Uh, come Christmas this next year, you can say that you solved a secret Santa uh, using a quantum computer. Um, so when you're calling out a Grover's operator, it's as simple as calling out the formula that you want the uh, Oracle to express. And in this case, it's a bunch of uh, Zor arguments. Uh, since Allie can give a gift to Berta or Charlie, but not both. Uh, and so on and so forth. So you type in all those uh, arguments. Let's go ahead and run that. And we're asking for the interactive circuit to be returned to us. Uh, so that goes back into our Python, uh, sorry, our integrated development environment where we can go ahead and dynamically uh, review this circuit. So that was a 14 qubit circuit with a depth of 348. We can open this up, we can see our mixer, we can see our oracle, and all those beautiful bitwise or arguments that make up that oracle. Um, again, you can execute in the IDE, or you can go ahead and execute uh, within the Python SDK as well. Um, I'm calling out the same simulator, the A uh, AER simulator for brevity, right? Don't want to wait too long for the result. And it's saying a quick result for us is x2, x3, and x6. Uh, 2, 3, 6, perfect. We just solved our secret Santa. Uh, the other example I'll show you on the Python SDK is an example of one of our application suites. In this case, I'm showing you uh, a European call option from our finance application suite. Uh, we have a strike price for our option of K, and we're gonna be simulating our maturity price S. And when your maturity price is greater than your strike price, you make a profit. Uh, so we have our strike price we're calling out as 1.896, and we have our maturity price uh, modeled as a log normal distribution with a mean of about 0.7 and a standard deviation of about 0.13. And we're modeling that with three qubits in this case. So we're gonna go ahead and run that. Uh, 
and return a quick image for us. We're not going to go back into the IDE for this one since we're saying just the image and not the interactive one. Perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and execute this. So let's see what those results look like when that gets executed. I'm going to go ahead and print the results. And it looks like our expected profit with that strike price and that model is about 0.17, which is about a 9% return on investment. Wonderful. So there's a lot more functionality the Classic Platform can uh, provide you. If you're curious about any of that, you can always navigate to our website, classic.io, click product, go into our user manual, and see uh, all of the functionality uh, well documented. Uh, so if you have questions or want to uh, see more of the platform live, uh, feel free to send us an email. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.